What's up my loves? My name is Paige, this is Paige with the Page, and today we're going to be doing my February tibia. Hello my darlings, welcome to this video. Apologies in advance for my voice, I have an ulcer on the inside of my lip and so I'm dogging funny and I apologise. It's kind of be helped. We're just gonna keep doing the things. Today I want to be doing my February TBR and because I'm doing Cluedo bi-monthly these are just going to be talking about where I'm at with my rating for Cluedo and then some ideas. The caveat to this is I've meticulously planned this out. I've got three things I have to read and one extra, but I'm thinking I will probably do one week one shelf and I want to select the first week with you here. This stack may may end up out the window. So I want to talk through the stack first just so you can see how I meticulously plan my TBRs to make them the most helpful. <laughs> I'm so fucked! But it's great! We're all good! It's fine! Like my spreadsheets are some next level bullshit. They're not insanely styled spreadsheets but I just have so many tabs for so many different things so it's like my brain and I can never find where the music's coming from. All of that aside, one of the books I would love to read, and I was thinking of counting this as my Cluedo, is Hideout by Jack Heath. This is the third in the Timothy Blake series, and this is going towards my bookish peeps as Crystal picked this series for me. I ended up reading Hunter in January, and I really want to continue on with this series. So I'm thinking of doing Hideout as one of my Cluedo cards, and ticking off my bookish peeps, continuing on with that, and that will count for my chicken book for Bookimon, where I need to read a book that has orange or yellow, black and white on the cover every month of this year. I think I've got my chicken. I do have other options though. I don't have to, but like I said, this stack is me setting myself up for success, so let's, let's see what actually happens. Then, Every month I do a book or revisited and last month I needed to pick the top two most voted for books. The top most voted for book with 14 votes was The Wicked King by Holly Black. So continuing on with the Folk of the Air series, which I'm more than happy to do. I will say Queen of Nothing got four votes <laughs> and so this is the top most voted for and I will only need to read this one to successfully read my book haul revisited for the first book. But then we had a tie. I don't think I have had a tie or if I did it was not on a two book vote. So The Gilded Ones by Namina Fauna and Orfea by Joanne M. Harris both got 10 votes. So I want to say like I only have to read one. We all know I'm going to read both because I can't. You all voted, you wanted this, you didn't want me to hurt, which is fine. I, I'm adding the pain. <laughs> But I feel disingenuous if I don't read both. Plus this one is small with like the writing's huge and then there are a few illustrations throughout. Oh my god it's stunning. And it is a collection of short stories I think. I'm very excited to pick this one up. It is stunning but I am also have been dying to get to the Gilded Ones. And this was from April. She got this for me and I adore this cover so fucking much. Like this teal is everything that I want. Everything. If I could just have a room of everything in this colour, I would be a very happy person. This will go to Bookimon for jewellery on the cover. So I've got the necklaces or an earring. I've got options. The third one I think is coming out soon and or already is out and I recently saw Prim's Book Cave a DNF the second one because it was just too much and that sort of made me intrigued <laughs> so I'm very curious to pick this one up and be able to continue on with the second but I'm prepared to be in a significant amount of pain. These are the three books I need to read. Obviously if I don't get to them no one's going to come at me but I do want to keep working down my book hauls and these are three options that I'm constantly staring at. So it's a smart choice. The ideal TBR versus the reality of the situation usually vary quite significantly with just picking things I didn't realize I was going to pick. Putting one of those as my Cluedo card and or Hunter 
as well. So I got options and that will finalize off Pluto because the prompts I managed to fulfill in January. So it's kind of nice having this two month, I can do the prompts if I feel so inclined to get them in, in one month and then have the other month to do like a creative idea. So I still have the list, but you know, we're getting there, we're getting there. Then what was next? I'm just throwing this one on because it already, from the comments I've seen on my entire unread TBR, this had at least three people screaming at me to get to it. And because this is one of the April's, this is meh, you don't have to get to it. I'm going to put on one that she's been yelling at me <laughs> since it came out to read. And that is One Last Stop by Casey McQuiston. I don't know why this has become such a like looming thing. I think it's going to be a fun read. I think I'm petrified that I'm not going to love it as much as everyone else and that scares me. But I think I need to bite the bullet so then I don't continue having this uh, feeling whenever I see this on my shelves because I know I'm going to enjoy it. I don't know if I'm going to love it but my friends April might disown me but people won't disown me for <laughs> not love loving it but hopefully I will. So I think it's just become this intimidation thing and I'm like, right, everyone's talking about it in that video. I need to bite the bullet. I feel bad reading one of April's that she's like, eh, don't worry about it. So I'm gonna read one that she really wants me to read. So this is for you. I love you. Oh God, I'm so scared. Let me know if you would like to buddy read this in February and it's romance. Oh, look at me actually being on theme. Then for the Volcanic Rock for Bookimon, we need to read a book club book for six months. And so I've decided to go with Books and Bargains and Friends' February pick, and that is Lessons in Chemistry by Bonnie Garmus. I'm really excited to jump over to Charlotte's channel and get to participate in a buddy read and Lessons in Chemistry I'm really excited for. Ash and I bought this just because of the stunning edition that it is, but I really want to read it. So I think it's going to work perfectly being part of a book club to get to something that I've wanted to get to for a while, but just haven't had that push. So I think this will be a good idea. And this will also work for, I'm so happy this teed up. This will also work for the A Year in the Audio prompt of Mist in the title. So I was really struggling. So I literally just searched mist on my entire TBR. This is the only thing that has mist in the title. So here we are. Then for TBR Knockout, the first prompt is to read a book featuring friendship. And so for my bookish peeps, I would like to start The Thursday Matter Clad by Richard Osman. This was given to me by Brittany Loves Reading and I can't, I'm so excited to read this series. So I want to get to it. I really, really want to get to it. And I was going to get to this last February for the one week one shelf because Asher's shelves came up, but then I didn't end up getting to it. So this is happening. It is happening. And I think it's perfect. It involves in a piece will retirement village for unlikely friends meet up once a week to investigate unsolved murders so friendship now for something sweet on the cover i haven't selected a book for this as of yet i was tossing up with combining that with the buzzword and going with the happiest man on earth by eddie jacu who he is on the cover and he seemed like he was a very sweet and lovely man i haven't decided i've already got my next book as a selection from my 2020 book haul and that will fulfill the buzzword of why be happy when you can be normal by Jeanette Winnison which is I could kill two birds with one stone and swap it but non-fiction I just I'm not sure I might need a palette cleanser I I'm not sure where I'm vibing so this is my tentative for the buzzword of a positive word which is happy that's sort of where I'm thinking at the moment but again depending on what happens with one week one shelf if I do continue with that then who knows this is my buzzword for the moment and i really don't know much about it i just know that a lot of people love Jeanette winterson's writing and i found this in an op shop so i picked it up so this plus hideout is my tentative stack i've got 2020 2021s i've got a very eclectic mix of book hauls in this as well as goals and with reading hideout and the thursday murder club there's two bookish peeps locked in for that but yeah, one week, one shelf. So what I think I'm going to do is ask the device to pick a number for me. Do I want to? I have three books on my graphic novel shelf, which wouldn't take me a week to read, but mm, it'd be getting it done. Got my graphic novel, my rainbow shelf, one, two, three bookcases, my brown one, my squat brown one, and then ashes. 
which you would have seen all bar ashes in my entire TBR video. So I will get it to pick a number between one and eight and then go see how many shelves there are, pick again and see what shelf I'm reading off. Oh my god, I'm so scared. Why did I decide to do this? <gasps> I'm not good with lack of control. I'm not doing my book trolley. I'm just going to put these back into their homes and I will just have to work out when to fit in hideout. I am thinking of potentially doing two weeks, like one week on, one week off for the one week one shelf. So not doing it for the full month. So if they don't get selected, I still have time, but we'll see. Maybe if I do for the first two weeks of the month and then the last two, I can just play catch up if need be. Or it might really work in my favor, I don't know. I'm, I'm procrastinating, I'm still Link. Ah! Alexa. Pick a number between one and eight. Here's a number between one and eight. It's one. Oh! Well, I can remove one last stop because I'm going to be getting to Heartstopper Volume 5, which was also on April's list. Wow, it's really going to be, and April gifted me everything. It's okay! Uh, this is all that is unread on my graphic novel shelf. Oh, actually. I haven't put it away because I haven't hauled it. I got The Prince and the Dressmaker, which is also from April. <laughs> April, it is your month. I, I love you dearly. You're coming in clutch for February. This is also my birthday month in February. So this is actually kind of nice because I think my mum will be up. Oh, actually, I will probably already be through this by the time my mum comes up. Well, wow, that is a hefty stack to then. Oh, fuck. <laughs> okay, I ain't mad at it. I'm getting to two 2023 purchases, one 2024 acquirement, and I can't remember when I got Extraordinary, but I know it counts for one of my book hauls. Oh fuck, my page count's gonna be screwed! I'm gonna have to read like 500 plus page novels for the none of those are over 500. Oh, fuck. I'm both excited and petrified. If there is the potential that Heartstopper might, might be read by the end of January just because Squash That series is still going. It might also perfectly work for the first week of February. Oh, that's worked out delightfully. Oh my god. Okay, well, looks like I'm doing one week one shelf. Mm. I'm half tempted to do it. Do I pick a second? Because I definitely could get through that relatively easily. No, no, we'll do it in the vlog. I'm not good at being impatient. Why did I film this now? It's only the 20th! Ah! I'm fine, it's fine, everything's fine. If I haven't read this, this is going to be the first book that I pick up in February to count towards Amy's Bookish Peeps challenge of needing to read towards my goals because this will be going to reading down my 2023, continuing with a graphic novel series as well. Oh lordy! Oh, she made some choices. We'll see how the cookie crumbles, but uh, <laughs> I'll be snap prepared for this. That was not an option I had actively considered. So that's great. This <laughs> is the stack for February, starting with the top four and then working my way down. I've made choices. I was not prepared for this video to go the way that it did. But let me know in the comments what you're thinking about picking up in February. Are you excited for anything that's happening? I haven't paid attention to the readathons that are coming out in February as of yet, but I'm very excited to see what is out there. I just have been focusing on trying to get through all of my shit for January. So here we are. I will let you know how that all shapes up and how we end up going for Pluto. And if you like this video, feel free to give it a big thumbs up. And if you'd like to see more of this mess, feel free to subscribe and I'll hopefully see you in my next video. Bye.